Hello students. So let's go for the next session of interview support program. And in this uh, session, I am just going to discuss uh, the harmonic oscillator. Obviously, I am talking about quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. So whenever you will appear into any interview up to the PhD level, the and if you have uh, mainly quantum mechanics as your favorite topic, or someone will ask you some question from quantum mechanics, then I can tell you harmonic oscillator is one of the favorite one. And you have to prepare this particular topic very nicely. Because from this topic, they can extract all the knowledge from you about the quantum mechanics. So whenever you are approaching harmonic oscillator, I will suggest you two books. One is Arthur Bezer that will give you the basic flavor of uh, this particular topic. And then you can go for the DJ Griffith, where you can use the operator method and all this thing. And in fact, in the DJ Griffith, also the Soringer equation is also there. So where you have to focus? So you have to focus from solution of Soringer wave equation, operator method, and difference between classical and quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. And then they will surely twist their question from the general analysis of parabolic potential. So we all know that harmonic oscillator is half kx square where omega is root under k upon m. So whenever you prepare for the harmonic oscillator, you have to always start from the classical harmonic oscillator. So just go up to plus two level uh, knowledge of harmonic oscillator. What is meaning of harmonic, unharmonic? This kind of question will be always asked by the examiner. And how you can approximate any potential to the harmonic oscillator, this is the one of the fundamental question uh, for the interview. And once they are satisfy your knowledge about the classical harmonic oscillator, then they will go for quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. They can ask you to plot the phase space for harmonic oscillator. And after then, they can ask you about the quantization of harmonic oscillator. So once you will land into the area of uh, quantum mechanics, then it may be possible that they will ask you to derive the Soringer wave equation. And I am 100% sure if you are appearing into IC Bangalore or TIFR, they can ask you about the series solution too. And they will surely they will ask to plot the wave function, the nature of Gaussian wave function or Gaussian probability density. So you have to prepare this thing very nicely. They will ask what will be the nature of wave function, plus infinity, minus infinity, what is the symmetry of that particular wave function, whether it is odd or even. So all things you have to prepare very nicely. And once uh, you can go for the Soringer wave equation, then you have to go for mainly operator method. Suppose you are appearing for the theoretical physics, then operator method is the very obvious question asked by the examiner or the interviewer. And when you are going into operator method, they will ask very basic question whether A or A dagger or raising or layering operator are basically Hermitian or not, or how you can write the matrix of this particular operator in a basis of eigenstate of Hamiltonian. So this kind of question will be surely asked into the operator method part. And obviously, how to get the expectation value of x, how to get the expectation value of x square, and the uncertainty principle in the harmonic oscillator is one of the very, very fundamental thing. So you have to work very nicely into this particular topic. So everything can be connected from this particular topic. So you have to just try to make a proper notes about this particular topic and whatever I have discussed or whatever you are finding into your books. So please go for either DJ Griffith or Arthur Bezer, but I will suggest you have to go for both one because both is very important. And one of the very interesting thing they can ask what is the difference between classical harmonic oscillator or quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator. Or they can ask you what will happen for the higher value of, of energy is that system is behaving classical or quantum. This thing is given beautifully into Arthur Bezer. And the mathematical part is given beautifully into the DJ Griffith. You can also go for different another book also. R. Sankar book is also very nice one for the abstract notation and operator method. So you have to prepare this topic very nicely. 
because if you are able to do better into this topic examiner will have interest into you and they can go for the next level of question so students just prepare this topic nicely and make proper notes do derivation and try to teach any of your friends on the board okay or this particular topic they can ask you some basic question of harmonic oscillator so you have to go for some basic question based on postulates and all kind of thing so students so this is all about harmonic oscillators just prepare it thank you